I didn't take the Lord's name in vain. So, I just had an old Facebook memory pop up and it made me remember a hilarious story, at least to my wife and I anyways. We were dating at the time and decided to go watch a baseball game as a nice date. Well, this happened to be a special baseball game. By around the end of the fourth inning, I'd say there were a good eight or so foul balls that went into the crowd and audience. After a like, ball nine I loudly exclaimed. Jesus Christ! Cause of the amount of pop flies was insane. This lady, who is one row in front of us turns around and says do not take the Lord's name in vain. Say anything else but that in a very upset tone of voice. So, not five minutes later, there's another fly ball. I shout, like loudly shout. Fuck my cunt sideways, another one. She just turned around to face me, gave me a look of pure anger and disgust. She ended up never saying another word to me, she just took off after the game. Not as epic as some people's stories on this sub but it's a story my wife and I still talk and laugh about to this day, 10 years later. I was fortunate enough to attend a George Carlin performance before he passed away. It was about two hours long and he made us laugh the whole time. After a standing ovation, he did an encore routine where he discussed his famous seven dirty words you can't say on TV, how he came up with it and how it was now famous. He then explained how the list was much much longer now, and he proceeded to recite every dirty word in existence in alphabetical order. It took about 10 minutes to recite. We all roared. A couple sitting in front of us, however, took offense. They huffed, exclaimed their outrage, and left almost immediately. Please be more accommodating to other religions mum, I am a Satanist and you don't see me forcing my rules on you. Thanks for the laugh. Also not what taking the Lord's name in vain means. It doesn't mean don't swear. It means don't do evil in the name of God. She couldn't even get the sin right smh. Maybe not epic but pretty damn malicious. Nice one. It's nuts that people want you to limit your words because of their superstition. Haha. Ha. That's great. Wow, you know how to strike a nerve. Unexpected Australian. Fun fact, using the Lord's name as an exclamation or invective is not what the Bible meant by using it vain. What the Bible means by using the Lord's name in vain is claiming to know the will of God or claiming things like God wants me to be wealthy. Or God has blessed us. People like Joe Lostein and Creflo Dollar are the people who take his name in vain. Oh my goodness, this actually make me belly laugh. I love these Lord's name in vain things. D. First, you are the Christian. You do not take the Lord's name in vain. Second, the Lord's name is not God, it's Jave or Jehovah. Originally, it was written only as JHVH. Edit. For English native speakers, it is more like YHVH. Because of the consonant's pronunciation, in my language J is pronounced as Y in the name of the town York. Third, it doesn't mean you can't say it. It means you can't take any evil act in his name. Sue. Christian fundamentalists. So much better than Islamic fundamentalists. Lol. D. I have not yet begun to offend. Taking the Lord's name in vain actually refers to people abusing that name to push their ideas and agendas that have nothing to do with the teaching of Jesus. Basically all pro-life movement for example is taking the Lord's name in vain. I know this wasn't likely to be in Australia, but as an Australian, I read this in an Australian accent for extra laughs. Oh dear, another Christian wannabe who doesn't understand what taking that Lord's name in vain actually means. It's nothing at all to do with using it as an expletive. This unlocked a memory for me. A few years back I worked as a substitute cook for a local school district. I was working an extended stay at one of my favorite kitchens except for this one employee we will. Call Brenda. 
Now most days Brenda and I got along just fine besides when she would get on her religious high horse. She is a staunch Mormon and I am ex-Mormon. On this particular day we had a rough go of things and to put a cherry on top I knocked a stack. 100 to 150 plastic cups on the floor. For reference our local health code requires them to be thrown out or washed before use after touching the ground. Upon doing this I exclaimed, oh my lord. Out loud. Brenda instantly snapped at me with, don't take the lord's name in vain. I will admit I can be catty at times and said back to her that lord is his title and god his his name. So therefore I wasn't taking his name in vain. This of course offended her even more so she ran to our manager. Our manager is cool as hell but she pulled me aside and explained that Brenda is super sensitive about religion and asked if I could find an alternative to oh my lord to avoid the ensuing drama that Brenda would to cause if I continued using the phrase. Now I am first to admit I'm a petty person and I wasn't about to let Brenda fully get her way with this. I decided to further drive the point that Lord is a title. So from that day forward every time a situation called for an oh my Lord I would say, oh Lord. Voldemort, or whatever Lord I could think of that day. I eventually got the rest of the employees saying the same thing. Brenda could never claim we were taking her Lord's name in vain because now we were specifying what Lord we were talking about. She wasn't happy but never complained again. Edit. Missing word. Thanks for the good laugh XD. I love your substitute exclamation. Just that alone. Without the lady. Without the game. Is more than enough. Sorry ma'am, it's a goddamn free country. If you enjoyed this video. Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.